Now at Blaine College, we use three different timings for our lead. If you're in a straight steal situation, your base runner will leave when the pitcher is at the top of her pitching motion. She will start her progress off the base so that by the time the ball is out of the pitcher's hand, your runner will be just leaving the bag with her back foot. That's what we use on a straight steal situation. What we're going to do now is demonstrate the straight steal lead. And as I talked about, we're going to leave when that pitcher comes to her 3 o'clock position right here. Our runner is going to be timing so that her lead is off of there. Okay, back up. So all that's happening here is the runner is getting a time, timing pattern down with the pitcher. I want to see back and off of there. Who's got the best rocker leads? Power, need to see a lot of power here. The second execution we have is when our batter is going to bunt the ball. In that situation, we're going to wait on our lead until the ball is in flight and approaching the hitting zone. That way, our base runner can get her lead when the ball is coming into the zone. She can be off the base, see the ball down onto the ground, never stop her momentum for a clean run into second base. If the ball is popped up, she is not very far off the base and she can safely get back. Now what we do here is what we call mass drill and everyone will get on the line and they're all working on their straight steal. So when our pitcher gets to the top of her circle, that's when they're taking their lead. Okay, so here we go. When you do a mass drill, like this. It allows you to see all of your athletes at once and they're all working. It can also be used as a conditioning drill. We usually put it at the front of our routine during the day to make sure that we're good and warm and we have our thinking caps on and we use it as a thinker so that I can call out steal, bunt, no, nobody on. I can call out any situation and they know which lead they're taking. So they're taking a straight steal lead again. Now they're going to take a bunt lead, so you'll see their heads turn as if that ball is traveling into the hitting zone. So it'll be much later this time. Now watch these first few athletes in the line. Shannon and Jennifer, Audra and Aaron, you're going to be able to see their heads turn as if they're watching that ball go into the hitting zone and they see that bunted ball down to the ground. Now there's no signal been given to the batter, so the runner is on her own. She'll leave when the pitcher gets back to about a 9 o'clock position in that area right there. Thank you, Angie.